Hello, happy summer. It is actually the first day of summer and we arrived at our campground today. Um, we're going to be here for about a week and I thought I would take you on a little tour around our campsite, show you how we set it up. Have a pretty good system here. We have been camping for, this is our 14th summer in a row, um, camping with um, kids of all ages. We have come up with a 10 day old infant all the way up to our oldest is now nine and a half. We have four kids and another one on the way. I'm three months pregnant right now. Um, so we've been doing this for a while. My husband and I each grew up going camping in our summertime. So um, we have, we've been doing it for a while. Um, so I'm going to show you what I have on our campsite before we just got it set up a few hours ago. So I'll show you around and Hopefully it'll help you out if you are looking to go camping and need some ideas and maybe how to do things. Um, I will also put a playlist down below of all videos I have related to camping. I have one currently on how I pack for tent camping and then also I just filmed one on how I um, set up the inside of our tent for our family of six and how we fit everyone inside there. So if you're interested in those, check them out. They'll be in the playlist. Um, yeah, so let me turn the camera on and show you around. All right, so here's a little overview of our site. We have actually camped in this particular site at this campground. It's the same campground we come to um, every year uh, for those 14 summers. Um, but we've camped in this site, I'd say, this is either, this might be our fifth time. Um, we've been here at least the last three summers in a row. So we really like it here. Um, obviously tent over there, like I said, if you're interested in how I set up the inside, um, you can check out that video. This grouping of trees right here works really well for putting up a shower. So my husband at some point soon will hang up tarps around there typically. And, um, oh, there used to be a log in between two of those trees, excuse me, that um, worked really well as a shelf inside the shower. So hopefully he'll get something set up there so we can actually shower at some point during the week. This is a bear box. Um, we are in the Sequoia National Forest, and this is the Hume Lake campgrounds, and they used to not have bear boxes. These got installed I'm trying to remember which kid it was that was a baby because she she climbed into them the first time they, they installed them while we were here and she actually climbed inside of it and I want to say that was our oldest and I want to say actually it was when our third daughter was 10 days old when we came up here so that was six years ago so um, that is super helpful let me show you the inside and what I keep in here I keep the majority of our dry food in here, as well as some cooking items. Those are That's a nested cooking set, which is awesome. I would put a link below, but this is actually one from my childhood that my mom passed on to me. Um, there is a fruit stand in a town down the mountain. We always stop and get fresh fruit there, so we, I try to remember to bring a flat box to put fruit in. Then I have these banker boxes. I have three of them with breakfast items, lunch and dinner items in them. These are also, to, well, these ones have like chips and things on them, some bread too. And then I have a skillet over there. So I just kind of keep all the dry food stuff in here. And my ice chests actually stay in my car. Yes, it can get hot in there and that does melt the ice faster. We just have to buy ice more often. But for getting in and out of the ice chest, I prefer that in the car and the rest of the stuff in here. Um, we are going to be we're going to be hanging up um, hammocks, which we have a bunch of hammocks in this bag. You can see one hanging up over there. This is my in-laws campsite and they actually graciously set up our tent for us before we got here because they took it up for us. But you can see a couple hammocks over there. My mother-in-law had made those. Um, so we have some in there and we'll hang them up on our site. Then over here at the table, this is a little different this year and that's because this table used to be scooched over that way more where it was closer to that tree and that clothesline um and it's kind of catty wampus they actually had to prop it up 
down there. Can you see so with some bark to make it level? So the distance from this ground up to here is it's short. And normally I would put my cook stove on this side and then this water container as well as that one over there on that end. But I didn't want to be bending over so much with my cook stove here. So it's set up over there. So these water containers, it comes in a two pack. I get them at Costco and we buy them at the pack and we use the water at home. So we bring them up empty and they're lightweight that way. And then one of them is our drinking water. And we cut this hole out, not only for ventilation, uh, so the water can go through, but also because the water up here is good drinking water from the spigots at the campground. Um, it's all great water. So we can put the spigot in there and fill up these. So this one is for drinking water. And then that one over there with the soap next to it is a hand washing station. So that one we have, here I'll show you. We say hand wash, but we also draw pictures of hands. This is for the kids who can't read, so they don't forget. And this is typically more critical when we have them side by side at the end of the table, but because of how the water would run off um, from the hand washing station to the ground, it would just create a muddy mess that would go down that way, the campsite and towards the fire pit. So we didn't really want to deal with that. So we put it up over here. It's not the greatest from all the times we've been there, but it, it works. And then we put pine needles and we'll restock these throughout the week to help absorb some of the water spill off. I'm gonna turn around right now and show you our clothesline. So it's pretty extensive. This is one long rope and it goes there. You can see back that way, it comes from that tree, but we're not that one, put that one over here. And then it goes back around. Um, I like to have lots of space available for towels and different things that we hang up like beach towels and things um clothes if they get messy sleeping bags if they get wet that type of thing so it's really nice to have this really huge clothesline and then right here um this is an idea that i got from my mother-in-law actually the first time i went camping with them she actually hangs up their utensils and cups and bowls and plates and stuff that way people can help themselves it's better when your kids are older and can reach it but it's also nice just to always know where it is and it's also not taking up space on the table and yes I know it's a lot of waste we try to stick to I mean obviously these are not paper um but I'm trying to get rid of them but we're trying to go more towards paper products so that we can at least burn them in the fires place here so that we're not just throwing away a bunch of trash but the reason for this and this again was my mother-in-law's um, idea was it helps ease the burden of dishes off of me and so it's more of a vacation for me than if I was sitting at the tubs washing dishes all the time now as the kids get older they can obviously help out more but when you have little little ones and you're just trying to get through the meals and trying to get through trying to make sure that everyone is just you know taken care of and all of that stuff having one less thing to do is really nice and that's one thing I got criticized I've been criticized a lot on on my how to pack for tent camping video is that people are like wow that's a lot of waste yes it is but I'm also looking at it as if I I need to have some give and take otherwise it's not really a vacation for me and it's a lot of work because just having kids up here is a lot of work and so if there's something that can make it a little bit easier on me I'm gonna do that so that's that's the reasoning behind that. So I just wanted to explain it. We always bring up one roll of paper towels. And the trick to this is you have to get this strung up on the line before you like tie it off on obviously both ends. So we've had times when we get it in the perfect height up here and then we're like, oh, we forgot to put the paper towel roll on. And so I just wanted to mention that. And then we put a paper clip on it here so that it doesn't just like roll, roll, roll down. So um, this is mostly for my husband and myself. And one roll does us great for this time. We don't always even get through it all. And then this is just a hand towel for drying from the washing station. Okay, back over here. And I have to hurry because my... Two of my kids are in the car. I left them there just playing while I do this really quick. Um, so I bring these really cheap um, flat bed sheets. I have them at home for other reasons. So I bring them up here. One, 
I like to just cover my cooking area. It helps with anything, any debris that falls down, stuff like that. It's not getting on my stuff, so I can just pull it back and get to it easily. Plus, it kind of hides it from view from critters and things like that. So I like to just do that. I have another one that I put on top of our ice chest in the back of our car, so to hide it from view from bears. And then also another one, we bring up our um, Bob stroller. Um, which is a lifesaver up here with little ones, especially on this terrain. And I use it to cover that again to help it from debris. And there have been bugs that like do webs and they're not spiders. It's like really weird bugs. They get all over it. And so it's been really nice to just pull it back and go, okay, the stroller's still good. So, so underneath here, we have our two burner Coleman cook stove. It's not an amazing cook stove. We got it as a wedding gift. It works well enough for what do we do so I haven't invested in anything else. The only reason why I complain is because you can't get the fires. Um, the burner's really low on it so it's hard. It's like either almost full blast or off it feels like. Okay so that's that. This is my dishwashing supplies. So I have gloves, washcloth, soap, sponge in here. So this is just, I pack it like this away so I just have it ready to go. So that's under here. Then I have our utensils. Normally I hang these up on the line, but I'm trying it a little different this year and gonna have them available at the table. Cause sometimes it is a pain if you like sit down with your food and then you forget your fork and then you realize, oh, I need a knife too or something like that. So I thought maybe we'll do this. And again, yes, I know plastic. I did bring use reusable ones. So I'm just gonna kind of see how it goes um, for this trip if I'm gonna wash them or just use these we'll see and then napkins of course then this is my like cooking utensils bin i have tons of different things i have some seasonings in here even um so i just have and this always just stays like this and it gets packed away like this and ready for our next camping trip and then at this end of the table this looks like a wipes container because it is but it actually holds all of our flashlights so that's there we like to have some mirrors tissue boxes this is wipes these are things that we just keep on the table easily accessible um, so we have a sharpie in there some hand lotion some medications and I think there's some hand sanitizer in there as well we do tend to even put our toothbrushes and toothpaste in there just so it's we don't have to keep going into our toiletry bag to grab it this is something new I'm trying this year. I saw it last year after we went camping as a, so I'm gonna try this out and see if it works. And I'm assuming we're gonna keep it around the table here for meal times. So the rest of the family just arrived back. Woo! So that is our site and it's pretty much set up this way each year and it works out well. We utilize underneath the bear box. Oh, I should show you this. We just put miscellaneous things under the bear box. Those are um, the bags for the chairs, the camp chairs. Um, before bear boxes, we just had to keep things in our car. So that's in case you're wondering. Under here, so I have a tarp. It gets folded in half. And then extra supplies are stored underneath here. And again, it's just to help with debris. If in case it does rain or something, it's there. So I just have extra things or things we might need for camps the campsite but don't necessarily need it and we, it's just there easily accessible this is how we handle toddlers and going to the bathroom at our campsite we just have this little frog pot we line it with a pa plastic bag put some paper towels down there to collect the moisture and things and then we can dispose of it easily and that way we don't have to walk back and forth to the bathrooms quite so often so I hope that was helpful showing you how we set up our campground, our campsite here. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them the best that I can. Again, if you want to see any of our my other camping videos on how we camp and things like that, check out the playlist below. If you like this type of video or content, or if you like this particular one, hit the like button so I know that. And if you'd like to see more from me, go ahead and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.